Are you ready for some football? That's right, it's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're talking all things the Super Bowl. Beyonce, Alicia Keys, Ray Lewis, we're gonna talk about it. Plus, the media guru himself, Mr. Curtis Wilson is here, and we have an exclusive interview. Wonder what happened with WLTX? We've got the answer exclusively on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. It's time to play ball. Just for but you, smiling out, cause God loves yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on. All right, well, we're talking all things entertainment, and I'm going to get right to it. Listen, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going in. Let's get to the nitty and the gritty. First of all, oh my goodness, the Jeffrey Lampkin fans, I love you all so much. Thank you. Yesterday, you showed up and showed out. AC Jackson Wellness Center on the campus of Bible Way Church of Atlas Road with Mind, Body, and Soul Fitness. James Patrick Allen, you got us messed up. My thighs hurt, my thighs hurt, my arms hurt, and I just can feel it. It was absolutely amazing as we celebrated um, the conclusion of season one of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Guys, can you believe it? We're almost at 25 episodes. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Season one has been so great, and I'm so excited for the love and all of the support that you gave, but yesterday was awesome. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me give you a preview. There is one more celebration. It's not a workout thon, it's something else, but I can't give you the details. I'll give you this glimpse, and you gotta tune in next week to get the whole story. But just know this, I'm taking it to my hometown. I'm taking it back to Manning, South Carolina. So get ready for what's going to happen. It's coming, and I'll give you the details on next week as we celebrate the end of season one of the Jeffrey Lampkin show. All right, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I am absolutely excited. Are you excited? Can you feel it in the air? Number one, it's a beautiful day outside. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at your neighbor and say, gorgeous. Yes. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to have a wonderful day. Make sure you go to church this morning. I need you to go to church, okay? I know it's Super Bowl Sunday. I know you want to be there preparing your wings and your meatballs and your little smokies. But I need you to go ahead and go to church this morning, setting up a prayer for your team that's not going to win. What team are you talking about first? You want to know who Jeffrey Lampkin and the Jeffrey Lampkin Show is endorsing? We're endorsing. You ready? Da -da -da. Bam! Ray Lewis, the Baltimore Ravens, is happening. We are the Ravens over here all day, every day. They're going to win hands down. So it is with profound sorrow that we announce the passing of the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, so to my dear friends, um, Andrea Harrison, Teresa, <clears throat> and Craig King, <clears throat> I am so sorry that your team is not going to see victory on today. But it's okay. Know that I have some Kleenex to comfort you during this moment. But listen, everybody, whatever you do today, get together with your family, have a great celebration. I think I'm gonna go down, spend some time with my folks today, with my parents, love them. Shout out to my parents, I don't talk about them a lot, but my mom, Deacon Melvin, and my dad, my dad and my mom, Deacon Melvin, and Sadie Lampkin over there in Manning. Good morning, I know my mom has her coffee cup up. She's addicted to coffee with Splenda, and her pinky may be out. Nonetheless, all right, so that's what's happening with the Super Bowl. One of the things I'm excited about, the part I'm most excited the music. Y'all know how I am. Alicia Keys is doing the national anthem. And now I'm wondering how it's going to be because Alicia, we know you like to scream through songs. So it's going to be interesting to see how that whole thing plays out. But hopefully it'll be great. Hopefully this girl will be on fire when she sings. And also, I love the biggest thing behind the um, Super Bowl where everyone is saying, hey, are you going to the game that's going to be at the concert? Yeah, talk about Beyonce. Of course, Beyonce is going to deliver. I'm so excited. And I happen to see a preview of the show. Single ladies, I know it's in the show. It's going to happen. Hoping that Destiny's Child makes an appearance. That's been rumor, and I believe that it's going to happen. So, hey, get ready for it. It's bound to come, okay? Listen, two more stories real quick. One thing I want to share with you. Um, Jeffrey Lampkin Show, we're giving away. It's the sign for love. It's almost Valentine's Day. To be loved, to be loved. Oh, what a feeling. To be loved, 
loved. Yes, to be loved. And if you're loved, this is what we're gonna do. Registering, we're looking for two ladies. I'm giving away the Jeffrey Lanka Show, two ladies a chance to get their hair nice and conditioned. So we're gonna get it shampooed, washed and shampooed. It's going to happen. We're taking you over to Scepter, South Carolina, to the right touch over there with the stylist, Clemmy. She's gonna be able to hook you up and dazzle you. So two people are going to be the lucky winners for that. Register the Jeffrey Lampkin Show at gmail.com or go to the Facebook page and send a message and one viewer will be so you can register. And once register your mom, register your auntie, whoever, it doesn't matter. All right, one more thing, I gotta go, gotta go. But before we do, just keep supporting us, keep doing what you do. But last story, talking about the Super Bowl, here's, my, here's the story that I'm just loving. These two gentlemen right here that you're taking a look at, okay, so apparently they stole $65,000 worth of chicken wings. Really? Where are the chicken? Now, I know, I understand we're in a recession. I know that everybody's looking for chicken wings for the Super Bowl. $65,000 worth of chicken wings. I got one response to that as we begin to leave the show for today. All I know is I just want two wings. Two wings. So for you, who stole the $65,000 worth of chicken wings, I just say, give me two wings, two wings, to fly away to, woo, two wings, two, woo. All right, okay, have my moment. Great, $65,000 worth of chicken wings, I don't know what happened, but hopefully those wings will show up. So they caught you, but we wanna know, where are the chicken wings? That's the end of entertainment tea. I got to go. Listen, keep it right here. An exclusive interview with the media guru himself, Mr. Curtis Wilson. It's happening right here. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Coffee cups up, pinkies out. Good morning. If you love what Jeffrey is wearing each week, go see Dr. Terrence Tyndall at Jerome & Company. Don't worry, ladies. They carry women's clothing, too, so you can look your best every day. For beautiful casual and dress attire for men and ladies, go to the Columbia Style Leader, Jerome & Company. Good morning, and we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show, and I am so honored, so humbled, so excited this morning. Why? Of course, it's Black History Month, and we're kicking it off with a bang as we come to the conclusion of season one of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. And I'm excited because this morning, I have a living legend among us. All of you know him, and he is here on this morning. Who am I talking about? The media guru himself, Mr. Curtis Wilson. Good morning, <laughs> sir. Good morning. Thanks How are for you this me. morning? I'm, well, I'm in I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Because normally, you know, when we do what we do, there's a teleprompter telling us how to say things and what to say. You just go right off the dome. I just dome. go off the dome, <laughs> off the dome from That's what awesome. I know. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. First of all, just to be sitting among you, but to have the opportunity to allow my viewers to come inside your world and get to know Curtis Wilson, yeah. the man. You know, this is the first opportunity for me to even talk like this. Normally, wow. I'm the one doing the interviews. <laughs> Normally, I'm trying to find out about other people. So this is a total different realm for me to sit here on well, this we're side. Gonna talk, we're <laughs> going to talk about you. Now, let me share a little bit. I remember when I was a kid growing up. Yeah. And growing up, I would listen to the Big DM 101.3, and everyone knew Curtis Wilson. And they knew Vanessa Pendergrass, and I think there was a um, Brenda. Brenda Jones. Brenda Jones. Everyone yeah. knew. But Curtis Wilson was the man. So tell us a little bit about getting to that level from that point where you started from, because you're not originally from South Carolina. No, originally from Brooklyn, New York, okay. but I came to Columbia, South Carolina uh, from Texas. Okay. I was in Austin, Texas, okay. working uh, Top 40 Radio at night, okay. and a consultant was listening to me, okay. gave me a call and says, hey, you know, want to meet with you after you get off the air. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, right, mm -hmm. you know, but he was serious. Right. So met with him and then he asked me, you know, would I be interested in coming to Columbia, South Carolina to do mornings? Right. And of course, everybody knows mornings is like the most important shift mm -hmm. in radio. So, mm -hmm. you know, met with him. They flew me here to Columbia, put me on the big DM for a little trial mm -hmm. run to see how things were, see if they like me and I like, you know, being here. And the rest was history after that. What was it like being in the South? And I, I know you were in mm -hmm. Texas, yeah. but I always tell people that the Southeast is different from the Middle yeah. South of America. So what was it like just coming to South Carolina? Was it a big adjustment? It, you know, it was, because you know, coming from a, a you know, big city like New York and then being in Austin, which is still a pretty mm -hmm. decent sized city, and then coming to Columbia, it took a little bit to get used to, but mm -hmm. you know what hooked me? What was that? It was the people. The pe 
See, it was the people. It was, it was y'all. <laughs> y'all did it. That made them excited. That made them stay. And we're so glad that it worked because you're here. Yeah. So you came on and you're doing the morning show. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your history with the morning show, with the oh. Big DM and doing the morning show. You know, the morning show is I I at the Big DM was so much fun mm -hmm. because, you know, they allowed us to be us, to okay. do the things that we needed to do to make sure that we entertain, that we were informative. And, and basically just had a lot of fun. Right. And, that, and that was the whole key. Um, and here's the funny part of this too. When I came on the big DM and the morning show was doing well, DM was doing well right. itself, but we just kept taking it to another level. To learn, and yeah. then at that time, syndicated, you know, syndication radio starts to come in mm -hmm. and you're getting the Tom Joiners and all of them mm -hmm. wanting to break in. And uh, ABC radio at that time was knocking on the door at DM saying, hey, we want to bring Tom Joyner to your mm -hmm. show. And my general manager stood by me and said, Curtis Wilson's doing well, his numbers is good, the whole team, and we just kept kicking kept booty. Going. Can I say kicking yeah, booty? You sure can. On the Jeff Levin show, you can say whatever you want because that's what <laughs> we do. You were kicking so, it and it worked. Yeah, and, and so from that point, Tom went over to another station, which was KISS, mm -hmm. and so I was going up against him. But my numbers, thank goodness that, you know, folks Ooh. enjoyed what we were doing with all the things and elements that we had, like uh, Battle of the Sexes mm -hmm. and uh, the mystery sound. I mean, the color of the day. Everything that we were doing, and plus we were local. Right. And that, to me, was so important, was mm -hmm. to stay local. Make sure you keep your hand on the pulse of what was happening in the city that you're in. Syndication can't do that right. you know voice tracking you can't do that right. so that that I think made the morning show very successful and made the last how is it, how important is it you talk about local and, and for all of the local shows including mm -hmm. my show as well how important is it the viewers the people mm -hmm. how important is that segment to keeping yeah. the dream alive to me that's so important okay. I still believe it today which is why I'm not a big fan of syndication mm -hmm. you know with and I know people love them they mm -hmm. love the Steve Harvey's and they mm -hmm. love the Tom Joyner's and they love the Michael Bay's who are your friends and so forth Your right and they're and, and, and but let me tell you when they when when they brought Steve Harvey into the morning show I had already switched to afternoons right. at the big DM and Steve was doing a conference call with the station and he was like you're gonna move Curtis Wilson no no nah, that's not gonna happen <laughs> you know how good that made me feel that's a good they thing that they were trying to move me right. out but they had assured him that they were moving me to another shift okay. so he was okay with that so but you know to me, again, staying local and being in touch with the people is so, so important. Was there a difference between doing the mornings and then shifting to that afternoon period in time? Well, afternoons is like the second most important shift okay. in radio. So that was still good, okay. you know, because you, it's a drive time. You mm -hmm. got your morning drive and you got your afternoon drive. And afternoon drive and radio is just as important as mornings. Uh, but again, it, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So everybody's important, really, in radio. But afternoon gave me the opportunity to still do what I needed to do, which was go back to school at Benedict, right. which is what I wanted to do. Right. And, um, and still stay connected to, to you know, Colombian surrounding areas. And so from that journey, you're doing morning television, you're out, you're in the community, mm -hmm. you're becoming branded, and you're beginning to meet the people in the community. Yeah. From your time on radio, tell me, just go in your mind for a moment, I know you have a box full of memories, but yeah. just from the radio side, tell me one of your best, fondest memories of radio that you've wow. had in an interaction with a viewer. Well, it wasn't actually, well, I was on air. It's going back to Steve Harvey. Okay. Steve was coming through and he was doing a comedy house theater. Okay. Yolanda Patterson was doing news and she had just started doing news. Okay. Steve comes in the studio. Yolanda's doing the news, nervous, so she's stumbling. Steve tore her up. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a copy of that, but it was so funny. It wasn't funny I, to Yolanda, but it was funny. <laughs> but, and the thing was, you have to have a sense of humor. Right. Got to have a sense of humor. Right. And she did. And, and thank goodness that she did, because that could have broke her. Right. You know, because you're on air, and you're trying to do the best you can, and you're giving your news, and you're stumbling every other word. And, and Steve Harvey, being the comedian that he is, right. just went at her. Right. And it had everybody just rolling. So I, I don't know if you call that a fond memory, but it was a fond No, that's one. a great memory for me. <laughs> that makes me excited because I know we have a lot of fluffs and things yeah, happen, but yeah. it's beautiful to be able to create those memories. Yeah. What keeps Curtis Wilson, mm -hmm. Curtis Wilson, so humble and so grounded. Mm -hmm. You've bumped and, and, and shaken elbows and moved forward with Steve Harvey and Tom Joyner mm -hmm. and Yolanda Adams and everyone yeah, in, in the industry. You've met yeah. all of these people, but you can walk up to Curtis Wilson and he's still Mr. Curtis Wilson. How? At the end of the day, I'm Curtis. You're Jeffrey. Right. No bigger, no better. We're all the same, especially in God's eyes. Wow. And I don't feel there's, you know, I just have been blessed to be able to be in a position right. to reach more people right. with the jobs that I had. Mm -hmm. But still and yet, I still put my pants on, still have my struggles, still have my trials and tribulations. Wow. 
and and that's it. And I, I'm no better than anyone else. But radio wasn't the only thing that you've done. Yeah. There have been some other things that have happened in the career and the life that <laughs> why I call Mr. Curtis Wilson a media guru. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we're going to dig a little deeper as we sit here with the legend of media himself, Mr. Curtis Wilson, right here. Coffee cups up and your <laughs> pinkies are out. We'll be right back. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. Cannon & Graves is a proud sponsor of The Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon & Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon & Graves. Good morning, and we're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down. I know you're getting dressed for church, but y'all just hold your horses for one moment. We're going we're gonna to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more. We have the legend of media himself, and I'm so honored and so humbled that he's here. Mr. Curtis Wilson is in the house, and we're talking, of course, before the break, we were talking about your time with the Big DM yeah. and being in a radio. Mm -hmm. But because of how popular you were, how dynamic you were, mm -hmm. um, your career experience, you talked a little bit about going to Benedict. Yes. So what was that like? Because you didn't take the typical, you weren't a traditional student. Right. Traditional students start at 18 Young. or 17 years yeah. old. But you started at a different time. What made you make that decision to go back? You know, I was going to schools, mm -hmm. talking to our young adults about the importance of education, mm -hmm. talking about setting those goals, going to an institution of higher learning. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I had not done it. Graduated high school and just immediately got into radio and things kept rolling from there. Fortunate, blessed enough to mm -hmm. be able to do that, but still had not put my foot into the grind mm -hmm. to, to, you know, to uh, get that college diploma. So I went to Benedict, especially since I was already the voice of the Tigers. Right. I was uh, doing the basketball and football games. Mm -hmm. And since I was on the campus, I was checking out the faculty, checking mm -hmm. out the students and seeing how it was. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. As soon as I said that, Benedict was right there. Wow. You know, Dr. Swinton, even the recruiters, you know, were like, come on, we're going to get you in here. And uh, like not three days later after I said I wanted to go, mm -hmm. they were right there. At, this is when I had crossed over to television. Okay. Uh, they were right there, came to News 19, had all my information, application packet, the whole thing. I was like, gee whiz, they I want, might as well do it now. <laughs> they want you. They want you. <laughs> I might you. as well go ahead and do it. So you. actually did, and I'm, I'm glad I did, you know, because I had, I was one of those students in, in school who didn't take education as seriously right. as they should have. Mm -hmm. um, knowing that it was very important mm -hmm. for you. But of course, at a later age, I realized, okay, this is important. Mm -hmm. So I uh, went to Benedict and, and graduated uh, summa cum laude, outstanding senior. Hey. Uh, top of the senior <laughs> class. Yes, sir. You know, all those things. And, and I was in class every single day. Wow. That was the thing. I was doing television in the morning, doing my radio in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and in between, I was going doing my Benedict College schedule. What was that like? That moment that you yeah. graduate, not only not only just graduate, but yeah. you graduate at the top of the class, yeah. doing your you're not the traditional student right. and you're holding down full time jobs plus speaking mm -hmm. engagements and everything else, and you come to the point mm -hmm where you graduate. Mm -hmm. Were your children there? My children was there, my mom was there. Wow. So it was really it was a really a proud moment for me. Um, because I don't it's not well, I guess, let me just say it. Go ahead. For me, first in my family to graduate from college. Wow. Yeah, so on top of all, all, of all that, it was really heartwarming for me and heartwarming for the family. And I, was, I wanted to prove that I could. Now, I got to tell you, after my first freshman year, mm -hmm. when I proved that I could get some great grades mm -hmm. and, and say, okay, if I had done this back in the day, I could have done well. I wanted to quit. I said, okay, I'm, I proved it. But something wouldn't let me. Something's, you got to keep going. Gotta keep you got to go ahead and finish. Gotta and it, to me, I have to think that it was God. It was God. And seriously, I'm not just saying that. I believe it. it. Because it was within me to push to keep going. And so I did. And yeah, that was like one of those tear moments. I love the fact you that, you, that you give it back and you say that it was because mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. that you, you give credit to him because of, he, um, because of his, his glory and because mm -hmm. he allowed you to favor to be able to balance everything. To do everything all the things that I was doing. And to still do it. Absolutely. And kept you healthy. Absolutely. Kept you in your right mind. Kept me looking young. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fancy that. I totally agree. Let's talk about. With a little help about, from the salon. <laughs> <laughs> to give it right. I just took all mine off because clearly, I don't know. I'm just, it all just went away. When I think when we talk about, you're talking about television now we're going to go here for a moment okay. something that I think everyone want, wants to know 
You were on WLTX. 10 years. 10 years on WLTX. Mm -hmm. And you had, so already now, the beautiful thing is you already had established, and one of the things about, y'all know on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show, we keeps it real, so we're gonna keep it real. You were on WLTX. Mm -hmm. You had already established a career, vibrant, mm -hmm. everyone in South Carolina knew Curtis Wilson, the mm -hmm. big DM. Curtis comes on to WLTX, people got happy. Yeah. People got, the Jeffrey Lampkin viewers got happy, let's just say that, and the, one of the things that I say, you, you went over to WLTX, first of all, what was that moment like? Going mm -hmm. from radio to television. You know, being in radio for such a long time and then crossing over to television, I'm thinking I'm taking that same personality, gonna go on TV, I'm gonna bang this out. This right. is, I can knock this out. Right. Got there, stiff, <laughs> wasn't comfortable, but enjoyed what I was doing. Right. I'm thinking I'm doing it. People would call up, tell them to loosen up a little bit, right. loosen up. But thank goodness I had Ainsley Earhart, mm -hmm. who was my co-anchor, um, who helped you know, teach me right. the craft of what we do as mm -hmm. far as anchors mm -hmm. and so forth. And, and I taught her how to loosen up, right. how to have a personality, because she was straight news. Right. But, and both of us helping each other created that magic, created that niche that we needed to have at uh, News 19, which worked. It was magic in the morning yeah. that yeah. we saw. We will see a lot you of out fun. And it was genuine. at the Riverbank Zoo and <laughs> with the band. I know, <laughs> it, it was so genuine. People thought that Ainsley and I had such a relationship, right. but really it was just that bond, that friendship, mm -hmm. and, and, and because it was real. And like how you say, when you're genuine, you just talk, and that's mm -hmm. what we did. It was just, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So the question becomes for me because I'm a, I, I was a viewer as well, mm -hmm. and I was following someone who I considered a mentor, a legend, mm -hmm. and one day, out of the blue, God, there is no Curtis Wilson. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Well, long story short, this is the first I'm talking about it, even mm -hmm. on television mm -hmm. at all. Period. Um, the management called me and asked me, you know, about my relationship with uh, Harold Ray, who owns uh, Ray Mazda. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like almost half a year, eight months ago, mm -hmm. earlier, I did an infomercial mm -hmm. talking about, you know, philanthropy, things mm -hmm. that I do in the community, right. things he does in the community. It mixed in with a little bit about his cars and what he does mm -hmm. as well. And that was against my contract. That was a breach of my contract. Uh, it wasn't on national television. It wasn't on regular commercial television or anything like that. He put it on his website, but it ended up on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think it had like 10, 15 hits on YouTube. So not, not a lot of people knew that it was there, okay. but still and yet, it was a breach of my contract. So I um, had to, they had to boot me out. And that's what happened. So <laughs> I know. I think we just, I, I think I'm so blown because yeah of what you brought to the table. Yeah, after 10 years. People would feel like that's a technicality. Yeah, I thought and I could I know that sometimes, smack me on the back of my hand. Right. But, you know. Sometimes we say, well, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. And I get mm -hmm. that there are rules, but it's almost like the story that I heard back here recently where Diana Ross went to the restaurant and they're supposed to um, take reservations and there's no exceptions to yeah. reservations. Right. However, it's Diana Ross, right. it's a legend. So sometimes when you look at situations, it's like, it's Curtis Wilson, mm -hmm. it's a legend. What was that moment like um, that when, when you walked away? It was tough, because I've been there so long. And, and you know, I felt that I'd grown doing what I was doing on television and I had still not reached a peak. Okay. You know, for me, I was still learning, I was still hungry. Mm -hmm. But to, you know, have that just taken away, it took a little bit. Mm -hmm. It took a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still had that bitter taste in my mouth right. about what took place. But, you know, I understand he had a job to do mm -hmm. and he had to make it happen. And I wish them well, mm -hmm. you know, doing what they do. Mm -hmm. But I felt that, yeah, smack me in the back right. of my hand, spam me something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's what it was. But, you know, the beautiful thing about it, and this is what I love about God, because God goes and he works and he mm -hmm. does exceedingly and abundantly yeah. above anything that you can imagine. So <laughs> here we go with Curtis Wilson. He was doing the big DM, still got that going on. Yeah. Then we turn around and you were doing L WLTX, that went away, but God being the God of provision, mm -hmm. he provided for you with your vision. Yeah. And so now you're doing Richland County Sheriff Department, which mm -hmm. you were already doing. Yeah. So you're doing for them. You're still doing Benedict College. Still doing Benedict. You're still the man. Absolutely. He continues to elevate you. Mm -hmm. So one of the things, the future, because I know we got to go, but the future for Curtis Wilson. Mm. Do we see maybe, because you love television and you say you're still hungry for it, yeah. do we see maybe a Curtis Wilson show in the future? 
Yeah, it comes on right after Jeffrey Lamp. <laughs> I fancy that. <laughs> yes. Watch Fox. We're going to bring you right on over. That works for me. So, that works for me. So that would be good. Um, also, too, you know, with, with Benedict College working with athletics mm -hmm. now uh, and trying to help promote and market what they do because okay. they have an awesome basketball team. I mean, always in the SIEC at the top wow. of their game. Football, we're working. We're okay. trying to get it. Got a beautiful facility. Nice stadium. Put Jeffrey Lamp on the field. I'll get up there. <laughs> down set blue. Hey, hey. Yes. <laughs> get on there and work. So, you know, just helping to build that over there because, you know, Benedict is a wonderful institution. Right. It really is. And if it wasn't, I wouldn't have gone there. Right. So, um, and working with Richmond County, that's keeping me really busy, working with the Public Office of Public Information. Because he will so arrest you. He does. <laughs> I saw the badge and the handcuffs. Do right, people. He will arrest you. I love it. <laughs> And then also working with our youth. Okay. I, I enjoy that as well because, you know, they need us. And it also, in, in, in all honesty, it does take a village, mm -hmm. you know, for all of us to help with our youth today. And especially when you have things that you see on television, things that you hear on music in the, in the music videos and also the music and things in the movies, all of this stuff, it does affect our, young, yeah. our youngsters really and what is. they see. Mm -hmm. And if we can help them overcome that and let them show reality from what's, you know, fiction and nonfiction, mm -hmm. we, you know, we can help them. We can, we can, we can, we can do we that. We are so humble, mm -hmm. so elated, so excited that you came out this morning, Thank that you. you taught. I love real conversation. I think that's why people love you, because you're real. I try. You're genuine, yeah. you're true. Thank you for being a mentor and a legend. Thank, and thank you, you for, for doing being what you do. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. It, just, it feels good. One last thing, as mm -hmm. we leave for the viewers, if you could say anything to them, to the viewers out there, because the Jeffrey Lampkin viewers were first Curtis Wilson fans, hands mm -hmm. down, and I know this, because mm -hmm. when people found out that you were going to be on the show, they got plum yeah. happy. Yeah. So one of the things, I just want you to talk and I encourage the people real quick. Any mm -hmm. final words for them? Well, you know, I want to thank them for supporting me in all the years that I've been here in Columbia, South Carolina, and, and showing me that love. Because mm -hmm. still today, I get, I mean, when I say still today, because I've been off News 19 since May mm -hmm. of last year, but mm -hmm. I still get it today. You know, I miss you on television. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. It means so much. And I thank you so much for that. And, and just continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for everyone. And, and uh, hope that uh, something on that horizon is right there for me so Thank I can break out and do something that can connect us again. I love it. Connect us yeah. again. Listen, when y'all go to church this morning, I want y'all to put that at the altar. Leave it right there for him. <laughs> Curtis Wilson, we're so excited to Thank have you. you. Listen, stay right here. More of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show is coming up. Coffee cups up and your pinkies out. Good morning. It's time to get lamp. <laughs> Momo's Bistro, now serving lunch Tuesday through Friday from 1130 to 2 and Sunday brunch from 1030 to 230. Classic Southern food with classic French preparation. Dijon and shallot encrusted New York strip, fresh seafood over local green salad and vegetables, and so much more. In a comfortable yet elegant setting. Momo's Bistro, 2930 Divine Street. If you love what Jeffrey is wearing each week, go see Dr. Terrence Tyndall at Jerome and Company. Go to the Columbia Style Leader, Jerome and Company. <laughs> what an amazing show. Mr. Curtis Wilson, outstanding. I just give him all honor. He is the man. All right, listen, word of the day, family. According to Webster, family is defined as a group or an ancestry of people that are joined together as one. Simply put, today, celebrate your family. It's the Super Bowl. Get those wings, get those tortilla chips. Everybody join together. Let's play a little football. It's going to be a great day. Go Ravens. Have a great day. You've been lamped. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Good morning. Here we go. Everybody, everybody get up. Everybody, everybody get up. Come on. Somebody turn the lamp on.